trainers to another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go. Today is all about updates. Many much new happy things have happened for Pokemon Go. First, let's talk a little Mythbusters. Gen 3, the whole leak date about October 26th, I can't find any retributable article, any reliable article, any well-sourced article, any really well-worded article out there about this leak, so... No. Also, the whole idea that waiting to push OK has literally been confirmed by Niantic as not a thing. Thank you, Niantic! Truly, because I got kind of tired of so many people who don't push OK, and like nobody really listened to them in the first place, and everybody else would still catch it. Yeah, you didn't push OK, right? Yeah, I didn't know. Bastard. And now for some myth boosting. The prodigy's na the prodigy, the prodigy's prodigy's the prodigy's nation's uh, little trick for catching while you hold down and wait for the ball to get small, and then you let go and you wait, and you just wait, and you just wait until they attack, and when they attack, that's when you throw, because that little ring will be super tiny, and stay tiny, because that's where you left it was tiny. Yeah, it works. And then, we all know the last ball glitch was fixed, but this is how it works. So, you either catch it or you don't. The last ball will either shake once and it will break out, or it will catch, and you will get all three shakes, and it's a catch. There's no two shake break, there's no three shake break, there's no, well, you can get a critical catch, but that's it. It's either you catch it or you don't. Basically, if it goes past one shake, you've got it. Aside from that, Niantic surprised us with a random update, and it is one of their biggest bug fixes up to date. So let's get into this gag. <sighs> After looking through the APK mine, Silph Road has discovered many much things. Their link will be down in the description. First and foremost, the screen has changed. There's no longer the box around the Niantic sign. It's much more softer and clean and larger. Nothing changed about the loading screen. The rest of the visual updates we'll get into. First and foremost, though, you can now search by Defender and Legendary which makes it so much easier, which defenders means your Pokemon that are defending. So you can literally type defenders and it'll bring up all of your Pokemon that are in a gym, not all your Pokemon that are good defenders. But of course, because I don't have any uh, Pokemon in a gym, same with legendary, you type in legendary and it'll bring up your legendary Pokemon. Moving on, there is also new journal entry icons. So, looking at your journal with, if you have a uh, Pokemon Go Plus, this is convenient because at first it wasn't showing anything. So now, going through your journal, if you get a stop that's a gym, it actually shows the little gym icon right there on the side, which is really nice and convenient. It kind of just helps us to remember, you know, which one it was from. And they also added highlights for letting you know if it was extra because of gym control. There's also new raid icons and a couple other ones. Don't really know what they're for as I don't actually have any. Moving on again to Safari badges. So we all know the Safari events that were postponed and then announced and then changed and then announced. So now there are a couple more announced ones and they have updated the badges and the event stuff in the coding for those. Those will all be linked down in the description if you live in the UK or if you're going to travel to the UK. There you go. Pokemon Go Safari is getting ready. They also fixed the white box Pokemon. I mean, I miss my white box Pokemon, but I'm glad to see them gone. A couple other things they did was they fixed that gym animation that kept on happening off to the side of screens in just the, the trainer area where you're just standing in, you know, the streets and there's all of a sudden some attack going on in the corner. They got rid of that. They also did some tweakings to the avatar textures. So, you know, maybe it looks cleaner. I haven't really checked. I don't really care. 
there's some raid lobby fixes and then raid animation fixes. The, the zoom sequence, I guess they fixed it to where some of us were experiencing, okay, but do this like twice zoom in out thingy to switch between. So now they fixed that, they addressed that. And so it looks like Niantic's really trying to go towards stability with this. They're trying to make it solid instead of having these constant little tiny glitchy weird things that are going on the game and I agree with that they really need to get a lockdown on all these little tiny mess ups and glitches and things that are happening on this person's devices or whatever all of that really just needs to get uh, fanned out figured out and fixed so then that way they can concentrate on the bigger issues and a whole bunch of gym animation uh, changes and uh, scale changes a whole bunch of stuff like all of that will be down in the description it's a lot of stuff I don't really understand because I'm not like I'm a nerd but I'm not like tech nerd and I don't understand coding and coding terminology so this is like a little foreign to me and then with that what I assume is a secret debugging tool that has been implemented in multiple different areas of the game, which I assume is going to have a cache available of bugged items to fix or have fixed. So that way there's a constant in-game debugger fixing these simple little things because it can and it remembers how to fix them instead of having to constantly leave it to the, the actual Niantic employees. That's what I assume this little uh, performance debugger tool is. But that's it for the update, the APK teardown, it's done, so nothing for Gen 3, nada. But that doesn't mean it's not coming, we all, we all know it's, it's coming, just like my video about Gen 3. But yeah, that's about it. But let's talk about the Pokemon Go Safari event. So, the Safari events that they just recently announced are October 7th and October 14th. I can't pronounce most of these names, but October 7th, they're this place in Copenhagen, Denmark, and Centrum, this in Prague, the Czech Republic. October 14th is at the Mall of Scandinavia in Stockholm, Sweden. I've always wanted to go to Sweden. And then this Amstelveen in Amstelveen, Netherlands. I believe that's where Reversal is. At each of these events, trainers are going to get uh, in-game medals, special 2KA, various pokey stops around the shopping centers. Lures will be activated at these pokey stops all day. So that way you guys can catch the amazing Kangaskhans, Chanseys, Larvitars, and others, I assume unknowns. Trainers may also find shiny Pikachus and Magikarps. Lucky best. And interestingly enough, they're turning off all gym and raids while that event goes on for the Safari area. So that way, uh, trainers can be concentrated on the experience and shopping. So yeah, if you live in the UK or plan to go to any of these areas, be sure to go and do that. It's gonna be awesome. But that is it, that is all. We are all now informed, we all have the news, we can all carry on with our lives. <laughs> Before we go, some things in store I want to let you know. I know I said I was going to do a Legendary Beast Raid video, but I'm kind of behind and totally late on that, so down below are going to be, or up here, are going to be suggested plenty of other raid uh, beast guide videos for you. I will do a Mewtwo raid, speaking of which, tonight. I'm going to a EX raid. I don't have a personal invite, but I'm following along with a couple of my friends. We're gonna film it, and yeah. Like I also mentioned, I will be doing a Gen 3 video going over the Generation 3 starters and what's to come for the rest of the generation. We might even do a little playthrough. I don't know yet, but be excited for that because that's gonna take a while for one, film and do and edit and get out so we have plenty of time anyways because it's not coming anytime soon so and last but not least Pokemon Go workout I have decided to make a Pokemon Go workout plan and I'm going to be doing a video once a month probably starting next month um, 
on a Pokemon Go little, it's just for fun, but a Pokemon Go workout plan video for people who actually want to do it. Pokemon Go prepare event is this weekend, tomorrow, so be sure to stay tuned for that because I'm going to go live. That starts at 2.30 to 5, so be sure to stay tuned, hit the notification button, and you'll be notified. But that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys truly did enjoy this, be sure to scroll down, give me that like. Maybe consider subscribing if you're not. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button, as I already said, next to the subscription button, so that way you're notified of the next upload. And we'll see you then, trainers. Bye!